Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how I tease my hair. Um, I got the um, Not Your Mother, She's a Tease Volumizing Hairspray. Um, this is Apple, Bam Apple Blossom and Bamboo Scented. Um, I want to try this out. I do sometimes use a hairspray um, or a volumizer for teasing my hair, depending. Sometimes I use dry shampoo. really depends on the mood I'm in, but I really wanted to give this a good tryout. And I'm using my Amped Up by Cricut teasing brush. I love, love, love this teasing brush. It's like my favorite. I have it in like three colors. Well, here's two only, but this one's broken because of the end. Um, they're really super, super good. They have this really pointed end, which is good for sectioning. And some awesome bristles. They peak at the mm -hmm. top and they angle downwards. When I tease my hair, I tease it in three sections from my part line. So part your hair how you want to. And then I basically go and I tease from this is one section, this is two, and my crown is three. My crown does, of my head, is very, very, like at an angle and it's very flat. So I just like to give that appearance some more fullness. So what I like to do is take the first section and just section it off. Basically it's pretty self-explanatory, lift up your section. It's all about sectioning and things like that. I like to lift it up and direct it a little bit to the opposite way. So not like you're going like this, not straight up. Just slightly over. Hold your hairspray. Let it count to three. One, two, three. Mm. I comb it up once. Push down twice. Push down another two times. And let that lay to the other side. Then I will repeat the process. I usually take about an inch sections. And you want to be really gentle when you tease your hair because you are taking your hair and pushing it back so you will have some breakage with some time. Um, teasing is also called back combing, ratting, um, interlocking, things like that, and they can use, be used for like updos, things like that. When I get to this section, I do take it and angle it a little bit. And with pushing it to the other side, it's helping it dry in a more volumized state. Once I get to here, it depends if I want to do this or not. I'm going to do it today for demo purposes. Um, just so you can see how much little bit of volume I get. So I'm just going to stop right there and I'm going to push these down. They're still a little bit wet. Just flip them to the other side. So as you can see I look pretty crazy right now. And just take some. This side is going to be quicker because it's a lot smaller. And don't be afraid to lay it on the opposite side. This has a really good smell to it, and it pretty does a good job. Okay, once you get to that point, just take those down, and then you're going to work on the back part. The back, I only like to do three little sections of. And just push them forward. So that's what it pretty much looks like. Then you're going to take and you're going to smooth it out. So just, this works very well for this brush and smooth it out. Now it looks pretty crazy right up in here, but just hold on. You're going to lose some volume now a little bit. And if you feel like you have too much volume, I usually comb about from the ear down and just kind of then brush this is only combing over to blend um, because I have more of a bang in the front I like to take it and because I still have some spray in here I don't need to respray it and just kind of tease it when you're teasing make sure you have no like direct lines in your hair that you can visibly see and that's how I get my more of my fringe section to lay a little bit better and you might want to comb this back a little bit and then direct it the way you like it. 
So then I get a little more volume than I normally do have. Um, it's not crazy outrageous, but it's a good, like, distance for me because my hair is still on the shorter side for me. And it's not too much and it's not too little. So that's how I tease my hair. Overall, I really did like this product. It has a good smell to it. I can still smell it. Um, it did hold very well. It's starting to very set. Um, I felt like it teased very well. Um, I'll have to see how it works the rest of the way. So this is the sample size of Not Your Mother's Volumizing Hairspray. This you can get at Ulta and the Amped Up by Cricut teasing brush you can get at Sally's Beauty Supply. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day. Bye!